Hello! Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm Delix. As I said in the last video, I was going to publish a sketchbook tour. And this is it! Welcome to this 2024 sketchbook tour! Yay! I'm so excited to show this up because I think that this is the most valuable sketchbook I have so far. Not the best one, but the most important one so far for the amount of information it has. Since it's very fancy and it looks like a spell book, I treated it pretty much like that. Storing all the spells that can make me and my art powerful. Unfortunately, there will be a lot of written pages so it could look a little bit boring at some point. So at the very start of it, I just have a bunch of business cards of places I went to eat, as always. But moving on, there's the first page. As always, I wrote my thoughts about the previous sketchbook and my goals. I also put a sticky note with a list of what I wanted to do for the future 100 drawings. Then I started my journey of drawing 100 folds in order to understand them. To be honest, I still make mistakes but now I don't feel them that much difficult to draw anymore. I just have to be very careful on what I'm doing and be focused on it a little bit more. In order to understand it more, I followed a Marco Bucci's video about folds. There are plenty of videos and tutorials about this subject but that video really opened up my mind. After that I could see everything so clearly. So yeah, if you're having a hard time with folds, I suggest to check out that video. In this page, I drew my OC Evelyn in some traditional Italian clothing and what I had that day in a tea house. The oldest tea house in Florence, if I'm correct. And then I drew other folds. Here I drew a sewing project that I would love to do in the future. I just need to take some time. And of course, more folds. I tried to practice folds on my OCs so that I can see if I truly understand it or not. Especially in this page, I can tell it, but I can surely say now that I find it less difficult, but I have to draw them consistently so that I don't forget. Here I finally reached 50 folds and to celebrate it I drew an otter. We were around October and since Starbucks opened another shop I went there and tried the pumpkin spice latte. It was a little bit disappointing. 5 euros for no spice, definitely no pumpkin, just latte. Never again. During this period an Italian song came out of a very popular band and I was so obsessed with it. I drew a young Royce with some of the lyrics of that song, surrounded with other folk studies. This is just a swatch page with some washi tape and stickers about an affair. This page was dedicated to my birthday. I went to watch Inuo cause I was curious and since it was on theaters during those days, I took the opportunity. It was nice, I really liked it. There's not much to say for this page besides my joy 
after finding again my favorite cereal bars and those salted caramel tweaks. The thing is that I had the opportunity to see and get the autograph of a famous Italian streamer and YouTuber. Now it's on my sketchbook and it makes it more special. This page is dedicated to Anish Kapoor exhibition at Palazzo Strozzi. It was very cool and exciting. I liked it very much, especially his works with the darkest black. It really messes with your perception. From this point starts the real deal. Since I started to go to art school again, I decided to take my notes here. For the first lesson, we were studying anatomy. Oh, I like this page! Me and my colleagues went to eat sushi one day as a team building moment and I took notes of my order here cause it was the only piece of paper that I had. The food was quite good that I decided to draw it. Then I drew my best team, Vanessa, Uriel, Friday and Kevin, as if this was their building moment. Another lessons, other notes. I bought a Pokemon themed advent calendar for December and I wanted to draw every Pokemon I found as a little holiday challenge. Unfortunately, it was a little bit of a scam, so I ended up coming up with something most of the days. You can see my Pokemon journey through Instagram and TikTok. More notes and some doodle of a very young Royce and Ace while I continue my journey with Fall. I'm very proud of that doodle of Thomas cause I didn't do any under sketch, I just went like that and it turned out quite nice. During December, more or so, I decided to take the annual schoolism subscription and give it a try, on top of my classes. I really wanted to follow Irie Pan's class since I love her work so much. And I took notes of it, of course. Here's my 2023 art recap. I did an analysis of my work digitally, but I wanted to do it here as well. I wrote what worked and what not and my future goals. I made a video of it where I talk more about it in depth. These are notes about concept art. I'm pretty ashamed to say that before this lesson, I didn't know anything. If you studied or are you studying concept art, or even if you're not, just tell me if those information are pretty much common knowledge and I was living under a rock this whole time, or if it's something that you'll know once you're in it. Cause I didn't know. I was totally clueless. We pretty much covered the history of concept art and the major events and influences. 
But the thing that shocked me the most was learning about pre-production, production, and post-production. And that there's an actual difference between, for example, character art and character design. As you can see, I took a lot of notes. In the meantime, I reached 100 folds and I moved on with drawing 100 chicken, cause I really wanted to practice and draw some feathers. I went to see the Alphonse Musha exhibition a second time and I drew something. And from here there's a ton of notes about ship design. This was the toughest segment. We started with some theory and besides the shape itself as a whole, there are a lot of meanings behind a singular part of the body, like the shape of the nose, the ears or the eyes. During another lesson, my professor told us something about shape design being more like an IKEA manual instruction. So, of course, I drew Royce with a suspicious expression, trying to figure out those instructions. A cat cafe opened up here in Florence and I went to see how it was and while I was there I drew the food I ordered. I also drew Jonathan on the side during a good art day. If you're wondering what a good art day is, basically it's that day when you can draw anything even without any warm up and everything turns good. The opposite of a bad art day. Other notes and Celeste with a quote. During this time I went to Bologna basically for the Muji store. And while I was there I also went to the Archie Gymnasio and sketch a bit. It was a good day after all, full of nice encounters. Here's Kev being a grumpy kid as always, complaining about the rain cause Florence can be too rainy at time. Some food I ordered and a ticket of some animated short films I saw. And more notes. During this year I also started to take some private lessons on top of my normal lessons at school and the schoolism subscription. And in those private lessons I focus mostly on colors. One thing that I learned is that colors are a lie. The colors we see are not what our brain tells us. And understand that is a major key to understand colors. And I drew a ZL that tries to remind me of that.
Anyway, besides taking notes, I also tried to doodle a bit here and there, so those pages wouldn't be that boring. Like here for example. One day I decided to cook myself some beef stew and I was so happy that I drew it with a little scene with Hazel and Royce. Beef stew is Roy's favorite dish and Hazel is a very good cook so I imagined Roy's happy face when Hazel cooked the stew for him after a long time. Here's Jonathan with some bags and a ticket of the second day of the Korean Film Festival where I went to see some short films. Here are more chickens! It doesn't seem like it, but I didn't draw in the sketchbook for a while and this is what I came up to after weeks. Here are some notes about the Creature Design Workshop. Here are some other notes, some chickens and Thomas that doesn't know what he's doing with his life. Since they were the last pages, I started to take notes somewhere else and I continued with chickens. And here we are with the last page. As always, I wrote down my thoughts about the journey with this sketchbook. Although there are plenty of useful information, I haven't had the possibility to experiment more in a practical way. There is so many written pages. Hope it wasn't that boring to watch. But I do really keep it close to my heart cause I feel like it's very special. I wish I went more in depth on what I learned so far but I think that this could be an idea for a future video. So yeah, this is the end of the sketchbook tour. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Give it a like if you liked it, subscribe for more and see you next time. Bye bye!